Hello, everyone. We are the Argonauts from the University of Cambridge. My name is Braulio. This is Virut, Hadil, Ravish, and Anthony. And just before we start, just let me show you a very quick video. Meet Aisha, an asthmatic Mumbai resident who recently moved to New Delhi. Aisha has booked an appointment with a new local hospital for her regular checkup. But when asked about her medical history, Aisha says that all her records are stored at her previous hospital. The nurse tells Aisha that she has two options, either to get the records by herself or to retake essential tests, both of which are time consuming and costly. This is a problem that impacts people worldwide. Based on our survey, more than 74% of patients have had issues accessing their medical records, affecting both their finances and the quality of their treatment. Here's our solution. OpenCare, a decentralized healthcare records platform leveraging blockchain and NFT technology to securely give patients ownership of their data. Imagine having your entire medical history within your fingertips. OpenCare, your records, anytime, anywhere. As you saw in the video, there's a big challenge in the healthcare industry that patients and providers are facing and that no company is addressing at the moment. As you can see, data from our interviews show that the main pain points that OpenCare will solve helping millions of people around the world to improve, improve the quality of their medical treatments. So all that we have to add that in most cases, using OpenCare will avoid the extra fees paid related to issuing documents or CDs with images in most cases. We also talked to people working in the industry. Most doctors said that having open care with them will help reduce uncertainty when prescribing treatment to a new patient. Most researchers from India, which is our primary market, referring to the data set open care will create, said that this will be helpful to design a more representative sample for the tests in such a country where access to records is very limited due to the lack of interoperability between healthcare providers. Now I'm going to pass it to Haril, who's going to tell us more information about OpenCare. Good morning, everyone. So based on the challenges we've just heard, we've made it our goal at OpenCare is to provide ownership to patient, patients for their own data. And we want to include them in the data sharing process of health research. So based on that, we've consolidated their past and present records, and they can see that through the app, which will allow them to track and monitor their health as well. They can also monetize their data by choosing to contribute to healthcare research by allowing us to share their anonymized data with researchers. So to put this more into perspective, I'll walk you through a journey of how our service works. So the patients will be encouraged by our partnered clinics to fill out registration and consent forms, after which we'll email them a link to download the app. And once downloaded, they can sign up, put in their ID for verification, take a picture to match their ID, and then finally choose what kind of data they would like us to share with other institutions. Before doing this, they can view their pri our privacy policy, or they can also choose not to share data at all. And they're all set. So once a patient, once we receive the patient, we verify them. They can view our record through the app, their record through the app, they can also download the report directly. And if they go to a different clinic, for example, they can share this report through a number of ways. If the person is a partnered provider, they can share it directly through the app, or they can share it externally in a number of ways. Navigating back to the homepage now, there's a wide range of options for patients to choose from. They can view all their medical records and sort by category. They can view our affiliated doctors and clinics, or they can take paid surveys. They can also view data we've extracted from reports to show them at a glance. And if needed, the patient can navigate to settings where they can add or remove any clinics that they're affiliated with, or they can change our data sharing consent. And with that, I'll switch over to Virut and he'll walk you through the business model. Thank you. Hello, so let me tell you a bit about our business model. So within the open care ecosystem, there are three main parties involved. Uh, at the top are the hospitals and clinics, then we have the patients to the right and the researchers of different forms at the bottom. So the hospitals and clinics will be sending their medical record data from their systems to be stored in our decentralized database system, where the data will be stored in an NFT format for extra security and privacy. From there, 
patients will be able to view their medical records through the Open Care app, which Hadi has shown you earlier. And the researchers will also be able to access the data from our database in an anonymized format through the research portal. So in terms of revenue generation, sorry, uh, the researchers will be paying for the access to the data in our database. So with the fee that paid, uh, we will split the fee um, using the smart contract uh, so that patients receive a portion of it as they are the owners of the data and hospitals receive another part and open care receives a bit as well in order to ensure that we are able to run our business. And with that, I pass you on to Anthony, who will be talking about the um, go-to-market strategy. So in terms of healthcare data, healthcare data analytics market, we've ass assessed the global market and we've identified three main issues. First is the lack of integrated health records. So for example, it's difficult for patients to visit different hospitals and clinics and still have their medical records embedded in their system. Second is the limit interoperability across hospitals and clinics. And there's currently no trust of network of data sharing across hospitals and clinics as well. We are, open, we are at Open Care, we want to solve these issues. And we selected India as our first entry market. Why is that? We have several reasons. First is the growing healthcare data analytics market. We believe that aside from the first mover advantage that we would have at India, India has a growing healthcare data analytics market that is growing even faster than an industry as a whole. It also has a large population of approximately 1.4 billion, which hence results in more health data to be generated in the country. They also have a good smartphone penetration uh, of about approximately 60%. They have a thriving medical research industries in, where, in which we are seeing a lot of clinical research organizations entering and setting their roots in, in, in India as we speak. And finally, and most importantly, we're seeing a large disconnect in healthcare services between rural and urban, urban areas. We're at Open Care. We believe that we want to bridge these gaps and we want to provide more healthcare, uh, more access to healthcare services to the, the to the population as a whole. And now I'll talk, I'll walk you guys through uh, the, our product roadmap. So first, in, this, in, the, in the second quarter 2023, we would be we would be bringing you guys to our first iteration of product, in which we we'll provide basic functionality into our app, in which a patient can start store uh, store it with storage, viewing, and sharing their medical data. On the final quarter of 2023, we'll be releasing our uh, open care research platform in which a researcher can start browsing our, our data that we've aggre aggregated in the previous quarters and start seeing the data that we, uh, that they, uh, we generated. We also will provide our the feature, uh, analytics feature in our app as well. In the, uh, in the second quarter of 2024, we'll be releasing two additional features for our patient in which we our aim is to provide more uh, healthcare services to both urban and rural areas in which patients can start searching for more doctors and pharmacies through their app uh, at the end. And tw by 2025, our main goal is to expand internationally. We, we hope that we will be able to expand uh, to similar markets in India, similar characteristics such as Indonesia. And by this time, our uh, open care research platform will, will transition, transition into fully paid subscription uh, model. And all the while, we'll also, we will also still be partner, partnering with different hospitals and clinics along the way. And now I'll pass it on to Rabish to talk more about competitors. When it comes to competition, we don't anticipate a lot of competition in the local markets when we first launched in 2023. This is because our main competitors are Apple Healthcare and Medical Chain, services which are available right now in international markets. We feel like we will compete with them when we launch in those markets by early 2025. But like Anthony was saying, by that time, we will start adding more capabilities. Even right now, these platforms are limited in their availabilities on different platforms, as well as the monetizations they offer to patients, services which we are offering are right now already. We also have competition against IKEA, but they don't have a platform model, which we do. So we feel we're very, uh, we are set to compete with them right now. In terms of how we monitor our growth and metrics, our main metrics are the percentage of partner hospitals and clinics we get year on year. Our component annual growth rate is 50%. As we gain that, we'll get more patients, registers, and NFT minted as well. On the app side, our metric is the customer satisfaction score. We want to have at least 80 uh, NPS, but of course we want to aim to achieve even higher. That concludes our presentation. 
we are really passionate about open care and i hope that you are as well thank you All right thank you